today going mushroom hunting in these forests and before that playing at the lake. Found some beautiful orange ones with gills underneath. And look at those. Wow. Okay, the peonies are really looking absolutely beautiful. Oh, so stunning. Don't know if you can hear the bees. There's some bees around. <laughs> Oh, look at this one. Hi. Yeah, peonies are pretty magical. I know they don't last long, but wow. Little French lavender, doing pretty well. And here's the traditional lavender that I see most of the time. Yeah, that one's getting a little lanky, maybe unruly. This one is way more compact, but way smaller. Interesting. Rose is doing pretty good and I do believe today is the day I get to plant all of the veggies out so I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be awesome. Might even plant some out there but definitely starting with this area here and little Bailey is gonna help and Smudgy always helps. <laughs> so this is gonna be a beautiful day. Excellent weather it's overcast so that I don't burn to a cinder, which is very, very lucky. A little Bailey. I just saw her navigate between the lavender and these cute little, I'm not sure what they are, daisy family, I suppose. And I'm keeping those over there because they're just cute. I like it. Keep all the flowers, right? Yeah, so this is nice. And yeah, these are the plants that are going out today. <laughs> Playful smudgy. Some marigolds. And here's just all sorts. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, pak choy, Chinese cabbage, tomatoes. Are oh, there some flowers in there? There's some cinnamon over there. Oh, there's some sage as well. Um, we've got some chia. And here's some peas down there. And cucumbers, of course. I've even got loofah. Those are three loofahs. That's pretty exciting. Very excited about that. And here we've got some more cabbage. Um, this one is Löwenmaul. It's a flower. I can't remember. And this one is mustard that's already gone to flower and seed. Um, I forget what that term is called. Then we've got some uh, cosmos and a climbing cat. Climbing cat. <laughs> Oh, I think they're happy. Content. They're content. <laughs> oh, happy cats. Hello. Is that fun? I had to resort to these because I ran out of plant pots, even though I'd borrowed from friends already. Oh, well, as you can see, lots of plant pots. Lots of plant pots. Yeah, and this is pak choy, and then... This is chard. Very excited about the chard. Um, this is rocket. It's going to seed because I left it in two small containers. Um, so my fault. User error. Whoopsie. And hopefully I can still salvage some of it once I plant it out today. Here I've got some creeping thyme. This is Dianthus. Yay. Flower. And, oh, I've got Dahlia as well. Yay, very exciting. And then a little bit of basil over there. One catnip. <laughs> got some parsley. Very exciting. So today's going to be a pretty busy day. One nasturtium over there. I've got some more nasturtium elsewhere. And some basil here. Cucumbers again. Here's some more lettuce. Got lots of lettuce, which is good. Because I eat a lot of lettuce, so that's useful. Anyway, 
I think it's time to start doing stuff. Oh, actually, no, I need to first admire this beautiful cat. Step one. And step two, I'm going to have a really good breakfast. I've been, look at this. Hello, red flowers. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just stunning. Stunning. Uh, I'm going to have a really good breakfast. Look what I made. This is basically my spring maybe summer breakfast there's yogurt underneath and then there's just a whole bunch of seeds i think eight different type of seeds like sunflower and um sesame uh, chia hemp seeds pumpkin seeds oh so many almonds are in there and then i've got a variety of vitamin b b12 is in there omega-3 um spirulina 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 that's the one and then that little one is uh, kelp and the white one is magnesium so those are useful things to have and i'm gonna have it with either rooibos tea or coffee and look at this oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh didn't show you that gooseberries gooseberries so i found out the other day these are gooseberries and where's the other one let me show you the other gooseberry which is not the same these are white currants um it's here somewhere i'll find it here it is so this is also a gooseberry but it is a cape gooseberry so it's completely different <laughs> there it is chrysalis so i've got a cape gooseberry and then those ones over there which are just gooseberries that's what i learned the other day i didn't actually realize that the name is so similar and they are so different. Exciting times. I just transplanted them yesterday. So yeah, I hope they like the bigger pots. They look really good in them. I am outside with Smudgy and Smudgy is protecting this bindweed, which I am currently weeding. I finished this entire section up to the patio there and the cement over there um and that is where i need to con that is where i need to continue yeah this is what i'm doing bind weed this is what the roots look like stuck in there need to dig up the hay and yeah this is what it looks like when it comes out and then this is what it looks like when you dig a little deeper, deeper and um, this is what it looks like once I got that out. <laughs> it's a bit of a mission. It's a lot of work and I really got to stay on top of it. Otherwise, it's just going to be ground covering and it will climb up all the plants and strangle them. So I've got to stay on top of it. I like Smudgy, staying on top of it. <laughs> hey, Smash. You staying on top of the bindweed? Literally. You're awesome. It's my weeding buddy. So cute. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, have a look. Have a look. This is the area I weeded yesterday. It looks so good. Smudgy is inspecting. <laughs> so good. Anyway, let me turn the camera around and show you properly. There we go. Now you can see Smudgy properly. <laughs> hey, Smush. Are you wonderful? Yes, of course you are. So here are the little plants I'm going to be planting today. Yesterday I wanted to plant them, but I had to take care of the, the bindweed. A bindweed was just all over here so I basically dug up most of this oh, it was a big job <laughs> and now it looks much better I put my very last little bit of straw on here um, because if you put mulch it sort of deters it doesn't really deter but it makes bindweed exert more energy and then it's easier for you to kill it um, so that's what I'm doing with this straw. I'm totally out of straw now, super desperate for straw, but I have to wait till um, July, July or August when they harvest the straw and hay and so on. 
but luckily I had just a little bit left just to cover this area a little bit more. So grateful for that. Um, this little thing here is so cute. Um, I'm not taking that out. I just think that's adorable. <laughs> so I'm going to be planting veggies in here and all around veggie, 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 little walkway and then veggie, 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 veggie right down there. And then of course I'll um, start planting out here as well, but um, probably not today. Not today. I've already had some strawberries and they are wonderful. Absolutely super sweet and delicious. They're doing really well. <laughs> Don't know if you heard that. That was a beautiful bird call there. <laughs> oh, nature. Uh, there's some cherries ready on the tree already. Not many. Um, actually, I don't think they're ready. This is a late cherry tree. And um, yeah, I'm going to start making salads with chives. I should have already, but I haven't. So it's, it's happening slowly but surely. I'll put some strawberries in my salads as well from now on. Oh, that's a really beautiful bird call. Oh, hope you can hear that. Hi, so I just wanted to add a little snippet to the end of this video and mention a book that I've been reading um, for the last few days that's made a big impression on me. And it's about how you can change your mindset or your view of life, of your reality, because you perceive life through a bunch of filters because we've all grown up in different environments and circumstances and have just been programmed and conditioned throughout our life, right? So this book is actually giving you a new way to reframe those experiences, maybe change those beliefs and those conditions and programs. And it just, it actually walks you through how you would actually do that. So this is why it's made a really big impression on me. I really enjoy it. And it's actually way more simple than I thought. And it kind of makes sense that it is simple because obviously we grow up being conditioned and hypnotized and just kind of programmed in that sort of way and just happens over time, you know, you don't really notice it. It's just like, this is how life is. <laughs> and now you get to make a little bit more conscious choices about how you would actually like life to be. So you just like twist those experiences, those programs, those ideas, those beliefs, and you just reframe them a little bit to a reality that you would rather experience. So yeah, I'm going to add another slide after this so that you can see the title and a couple of highlights that I thought were really interesting about the book. And I will also include a link to it. And this link will be an affiliate link and it doesn't cost you anything at all. It's basically just Amazon giving me a commission to say a thank you if anybody buys through that link. Um, so that way, uh, you can support me and it won't cost you anything at all um, if you buy anything on Amazon. I think it's within 24 hours of clicking on that link. That's how long the uh, affiliate link stays active in your browser or whatever it is. <laughs> so if you do buy anything through Amazon, I thank you very much. Even if it's not the book, I would still get a small commission. Um, it's usually around about 2%, I believe. Um, but every bit is so much appreciated. So thank you very much and see you soon.